Looky, looky what I got in my clutches! Oh, it is none other than the Hip Dot X My Chemical Romance Makeup Collection. And you know what that means. In this video, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna play with some makeup and we're gonna string the fire! I know that's a lot of energy coming at you right now, but I'm just so excited because this is the collection that none of us saw coming and I couldn't be more excited for it and just, mmm. Mm. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, which has been very difficult for me, but I wanted to unbox it together as a team here, all of us, because I know that that launch day was nuts, okay? It sold out within a couple minutes and it was just really crazy. So I know some of you might not have been able to get it. I honestly don't know how I lucked out and scored one, but it's here with me now. So I think it's only fair to unbox it together. I don't know how much of a review this will be because to me, it's kind of like a collection piece, but I'm gonna play around with the makeup and do some looks and have some fun. So before we begin, I do wanna mention it really quickly. I'm sure you know how YouTube works, but I'm gonna say it just in case if you are new to my channel and new to my face, I did not mean to rhyme, sorry. But if you are new and you like what you see so far and you wanna see more videos from me, it helps me out a lot and hopefully it helps you out a lot to get notified when I post more videos by making sure you are subscribed. That little red button down below is tapped. Make sure the bell is tapped next to it. I post cruelty-free beauty-related videos three times a week here on the tube and you don't want to miss out. Also, you can get some bonus extended content from me over on my other social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, all those places. Come check me out. But enough of the pre chit chat. If you're if you are just as excited as I am to take a look at the collection, then you're in the right place and all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight and keep on watching. Beep. Now, I just wanna make myself clear. Some of you know how excited I am for this collection. But for those of you that don't, I have been listening to My Chemical Romance since back from, I brought you my Bullets album days, like the beginning. I love them. I still have them on repeat. The whole discography, the whole, all their albums over and over and everything Gerard makes. So good, okay? I'm so excited. And a little update for those of you who watch my Insta stories. I talked about how I dressed up as Helena from their music video for, it was senior year of high school, Halloween, I think 2006. 2005. So dressed up as her, did the whole thing, put together an outfit, eyeshadow, everything. I have a picture somewhere in the world of me dressed as that. I hacked into my MySpace. I found what would be the picture and the link wouldn't work or whatever. The picture will not load. So I don't have it to show you guys. I'm so sorry. I need to go through my bins of old high school photos and try to find it. If I ever find it, you know, I'll post it for you guys so you guys can see it. But I do have the eyeshadow that I used. This thing I have kept for purely nostalgia reasons. I bought this at Hot Topic, okay? I don't even know what it was marketed for. It wasn't, it didn't even say eyeshadow because I don't think it was allowed to say that, but you bet your sweet bippy I used it as eyeshadow. So this thing is a ancient. Oh, I didn't hit pan, but I definitely used it up real, real good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope I find that picture someday. If I ever find it, I will recreate my Helena look, okay? And bring it into the 2020s. But let's go ahead and unbox this because I know that's what you're really here for, not my entire life history. I have the world's smallest scissors to help us out today, okay. <sighs> Here's a little peek. Here's a little peek in there. Seriously, that day was crazy, you know? You guys, I'm so sorry if you weren't able to get your hands on this and you wanted to. That was a nutso day. Hip Dot said they were going to be restocking on Hot Topic's site and Ulta, but not the full collection, just the individual pieces. I know that they did it at Hot Topic, like unannounced. I, it was in the wee hours in the morning. I didn't even catch it. It was so early. And again, it sold out so freaking fast. So I hope this is a collection that comes back. I know that there are always issues with contracts and how long a company gets to use the rights and everything. So hopefully Hip Dot can come out, you know, and with a true, true restock. But let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh my freaking goodness, that is awesome! Okay, so take a look, glossy finish, absolutely beautiful. Let's open her up. <gasps> Ooh, 
oh well, that's pretty cool okay so it opens up like that you have again hip dot my chemical romance and then the gorgeous palette which is their second album cover oh that's so cool we got a brush here eyeliner oh and there's a little pin Oh, and some boxes were signed. Obviously my box isn't signed. That's no big deal to me. Only a few people got a signed box. So yeah, let's pull out each one of these pieces and let's take a look. Let's take a gander at the goose. Here is the little brush. Every little detail all on the side is so, so cool. I didn't realize this, but the brush actually has caps on it. So it's dual sided. And look at that. That is pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't realize that, but here's the thing, putting caps back on brushes yeah, that's, that's a bit of a challenge. Does it slide up so you can, there we go. It slides up, just kidding. So that slides up so you can pop that back on. Yeah, so nice travel brush whenever we can actually finally travel. That's really cool. And let's take a look at the dual ended eyeliner. So I have high hopes for this eyeliner. Hopefully it's really good. I have the Kesha ones from Hip Dot and I don't love them. So hopefully this one will turn out a little bit better than that. You got a fat side and a skinny side. Yeah, that seems nice. And then you could use this two different ways. So either flat side or yeah, that feels more like a marker. Okay, I'll let that dry and we will see how like smudge resistant it tends to be. Here is that beautiful shadow palette and then that just slides right out to reveal the actual one underneath. And let's take a look at the color story. Oh yeah, so MCR, so My Chemical Romance. I mean, hello, that is absolutely stunning. So gorgeous. I think that that bluish purple is so nifty, so cool. And all the imprints in there are really cool too. Wow. Now, one thing I do wanna say about the collector's box, cause I don't think that they're bringing the collector's box back. I think that they're just bringing the individual pieces back. The collector's box didn't have any kind of a discount break to it at all. In fact, you're actually paying more for the collector's box. And really you're just getting those three pieces that you can buy individually. And then you're getting the box and the pin, but you're paying extra for the box and the pin. So some brands will do like a discounted rate by buying it all together. Hip Dot typically doesn't. They usually charge more for the PR boxes. So that's all that you're getting extra. So don't be too sad if you know you have to just go with one or two of the individual pieces, but let's get to playing now, okay? So I already of course did all my makeup. I'm gonna zoom you in. Eyes are already prepped and primed with ABH eye primer, so let's get to playing with the shadow palette first. Yeah! TBH, having a hard time deciding which direction I want to take this look. So I think I decided that I'm going to do two different looks to match my two different hair tones, okay? So I'm going to do a red on the opposite side and a black. Let's see what, let's see what happens, right? <laughs> that's what, that's what the video's for. Okay, cool. I gotta dip into this red shade first called Pitchfork Red. I'm gonna just start popping that onto, wait, the opposite side. Ah. Oh yeah. This is also a vegan palette, by the way, which means that they use dyes instead of carmine. So we might get some staining. Usually it's just the staining um, and you can cover it up with some concealer or it'll come off in a couple days. But anyways, let me blend this on this side. I have a few palettes from Hip Dot and I haven't been disappointed. I think the Kesha one is freaking awesome. I still use it. It's a really good palette. And then I have the SpongeBob one too, which is fun neon things. I haven't tried any of their regular palettes, but I mean, as far as the collab palettes go, I've been impressed. So you can check it out. I do have a code with them that I'll list down in the description box in case you ever need to pick anything up from Hip Dot. But <laughs> I really hope that they restock this one. Oh, that's a really good red. It's sticking right away. It's blending nicely. It's not too pink like some of them can be. That's awesome. Great red, loving that. I'm gonna do the same exact technique with shotgun centers. Shotguns, wow, that joke. I wish I could play. I wish I could just have that on in the background right now, you guys, but it ain't 2006 anymore and there's all these copyright laws, so I can't do that. You know, if you want to put on your phone, you know, just put on the My Chemical Romance on low in the background or on high, whatever, and just watch me blend, I won't be mad. Just go ahead. Go ahead and do that. I encourage it. Good freaking gray shade. I really like that. I'm going to take the white one, a flock of doves, and I'm going to just do kind of a reverse blend up here to get a little bit more blending. And of course, right over here. And I'll go back in and fine tune and everything. I just like to lay everything down first and then I'll go back in and blend a little bit more. But I'm going to take a more precise 
pointed blending brush and I'm going to take the shade Starless Eyes for this side and then we'll go in and do the black one called Serpent Sun onto the other side. And while I blend, I would love to know from you, if you listen to MCR, what is your favorite album? Okay, what is up? Don't ask me, that's so hard, no fair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, my favorite are the first two. You brought me my bullets and then of course, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge because those are the, those are the, they're, they're, I just, the other one made me fall in love with MCR. So I love those ones the most. The others are great too, but those ones are where it's at. I think you got the generation that, you know, Black Parade is your favorite and that's all right too, you know, you know. And look at this red, man. This is top tier. That is, ooh, that is wicked awesome, really cool. I feel like with my hair, by the way, I could have gone two different ways because it's blonde. I feel like this could be a total Christina Aguilera a la stripped moment. So yeah, two different directions here. Maybe this look will make it more My Chemical Romance, we'll see. So what do I wanna do now? Do I wanna do like a little mini halo moment? Maybe, sure, okay. So let me do the same exact shades I was just using. And I'm just going to connect, you know, on the outer and inner corner, leaving that little space, because I think I'm gonna pop in that silvery shade in a sec. So starting with Starless Eyes. Up it right all here. Oh, that's great, great pigment. Wow, okay, all right. Okay, pop that over here. That is a good freaking black too, you know? Like I said, people were kind of like, why is Hip Dot, why is My Chemical Romance collabing with Hip Dot? So random. And while I do admit it's a little random, but Hip Dot does have random collabs like SpongeBob and Kesha. <laughs> Uh, you know, like I said, the palettes that I've used from them so far have been really good. And this is, this is spot on. And I have faith that My Chemical Romance would not put their name on something that was mediocre, you know? And so far, this is coming through. So far, so good. Okay, now let me just take this with my finger. It's called Explosive Light. It's cool, it's like a gunmetal silver. That, that's really cool. Okay, and I'm just gonna place it right there. I'm not bringing it all the way up this time, but that would look really cool. Placed all the way up, and I'm just gonna pat that out. Ooh, that is a really gorgeous gorgeous shade and then do the same thing on the other side yeah in the palette this almost just looks like a silver but it's definitely like a gunmetal tone which is very fitting okay very fitting wow i think that uh, this is a beautiful palette <laughs> i mean yes i'm a little biased but i mean it's performing really well so i can't can't knock that you know you could take the lower lash line any any kind of way. I so badly want to try this purple shade. Let's just pop it down here. And because it's purple, if I want to cover it up with black, I totally can. It's called Saints Protect Her. I'm going to have to pop it down here. Oh my gosh. I'm such a dumb dumb. I haven't been using the brush. Come on. Come on, Ashley. Okay. Okay, I mean, this brush is kind of more like a collector's piece too. It's not like it's a whole brush set that you guys are debating on whether you want to get or not probably, but I still want to use it. I still want to figure out. Feels really soft. Feels really nice. I like that it fits under the waterline very nicely. Yeah, that purple is cool because it's, it is, it's very cool. Yes, I do want to keep it red on red, black on black, but I, I'm really excited. I'll use that in a future look. Maybe I'll do a little IG video or something, TikTok, something like that. So follow me over there. I'm just gonna take the black shade, pop it over that, and then let's blend it out with this side. Let me clean that off. <laughs> you guys are probably like, hello, the brush, please. Uh, when are you gonna start using the brush? Well, at least I remembered at some point, okay? So let me take the smaller end. Wait, which so which end is the smaller end? Wait, aren't they the same? They're very similar in size. This one is like a little tiny bit flatter. This one's more round. So I'm gonna take the flatter side and then I'm gonna go in with Pitchfork Red, which is the first red that we were using. And then plop over to the blendable side and then blend that out. 
deep red, pop it on, deepen it up a bit. Cool, cool. Yeah, not really much to say about the brush. Seems like a good, like detailing, dense type of brush, not super fluffy. I wouldn't use it as just a blender alone. I would use it as a definer in the crease, like taking a little bit of red right here and adding a little bit, using it that way to define. Not really a blending brush, more of a, you know, impactful detailing brush, but really cool, really nostalgic and it'll make me happy every time I look at it. Okay, before we get into the eyeliner, which I won't forget to use, I'm gonna take a little bit of that gunmetal shimmer shade and just pop some on the inner corner. Okay, grabbing the eyeliner. Now, I don't really see much of a use for me personally for the flat kind of interesting looking tip one, but you know, maybe one day I will. Let me use this pointed side just because I like to go in with a little more detail and I'm just going to Line, line the top lid. So this is the problem that I had with the Hip Dot Kesha liner. It's a little tuggy. It's a little stiff of a brush and it almost feels like it's running out while you're using it. So I don't love the formula on that or the brush tip. And then while I was using it, I was thinking, you know what would have been a cool, like, cool idea to do is make this side a gel tip like a gel you know like a creamy gel liner that you can twist up kind of like the tardiest one that they have it's like a dual ended and kept it that smudger side because that would be cool to put it on the lower lash line and then smudge it out but alas they didn't do that i do kind of want to use this now just to see yeah it's still kind of tuggy like and scratchy so i don't really like that very much yeah i don't like how that feels it feels very scratchy on my eyes so if you are looking, oh my gosh, <laughs> what is that from? Ah, that's what I get for doing my face makeup before all this, honestly. <laughs> okay, anyways, if you are looking, I'll touch that up later. If you are looking to figure out, okay, when these get restocked, if they still ever will, the individual pieces, which ones do I really want? I would honestly pass on the eyeliner unless you really, really just want to collect it. The eyeshadow palette, based off of first impressions, this seems like a really nice formula. And the brush, again, that's kind of like a collector's piece. It's not necessarily something you can't get anywhere else. And same thing with the color story of this. You could definitely recreate this color story in other things. You might already have some at home, but this is a full collector's piece to me. I would buy this again in a heartbeat for sure, for sure. Formula seems really nice. Pigmentation, blendability, all of that. I'm giving you my rundown and I haven't even finished a look. Let me go throw on some lashes and everything and then we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, so here's the finished look all completed now so you can see everything. And of course I will list everything that I used down in the description box per usual. You'll see I kind of alternated the red and black eyeliner just to make it kind of a little bit more fun. Now, if you are recreating this look at home, of course, you can just do one side as both sides, whatever. And with that said, I do feel like, okay, I know I kind of give my whole spiel of everything pretty much, but if you just like the tones of this palette, you can definitely recreate this at home. You can find some similar tones. But as far as the quality goes, in my opinion, I feel like they did a really good job as far as pigmentation, blendability, all of that. I'm really happy with it. And I forgot to mention, I'm really happy with the price point that they put this palette at. I think it was around $25. So so if that restocks, it's a nice way to have a collector's piece without breaking the bank. The whole collector's box was like around $60. That was heftier. Do I feel like it's worth it in my opinion? It just depends if you're a collector or not, honestly. I don't feel like it's worth it for the people that are charging $600 on eBay. That really makes me mad. But if I were to pick out anything from the collection, the palette is what I would go with. The eyeliner, I gave my two cents. I don't feel like it's great. It does seem to stay on my hand really well, but I can see it already fading from my eyes. And it's not that it's fading. It's just, I think that the eyeshadows are so pigmented that they're sticking to the eyeliners and they're just, it's just meh. And then same thing with the brush, cute collector's item, but do you have to have it? That's up to you. I do like that. It closes, but I already lost one of the caps, so. <laughs> That's, that says everything about that. Anyways, that is pretty much it for my first impression style type of look. I'm so excited for this collection. I hope that you were able to get at least a piece if that's what you were hoping for. If you weren't able to and you want one, I hope that you're able to get it on a restock. And 
um, yeah. Make sure you are subscribed before you go so you don't miss out on future videos from me and make sure you are following me over on TikTok and Instagram and all of that. That way you get future extended content. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And we're gonna string the fire. We're gonna fire this on fire. Okay, two different Two different Oh yeah. Killer, killer dude. Thank you very much. I'll be in the nursing home. They'll be wheeling me and I'll be blasting it on my, my whatever, I don't know, whatever kind of music, however we're listening to music is then.